Scotland Yard, London, Wednesday, December 31st, 1930. So you see, madam, there's very little more I can do in the circumstances, which are pretty cut and dried as far as we're concerned. Yes, you've made that abundantly clear, Detective Inspector Stratton. The woman sat bolt upright on her chair, brushing back her hair with an air of defiance. For a mere second, she looked at her hands, rubbing an ink stain on calloused skin where her middle finger always pressed against the nib of her fountain pen. However, I cannot stop searching because your investigations have drawn nothing. To that end, I have decided to enlist the services of a private inquiry agent. The policeman, reading his notes, rolled his eyes, then looked up. That is your prerogative, of course, though I am sure his findings will mirror our own. It's not a he, it's a she, the woman smiled. May I inquire as to the name of the she in question? asked Stratton, though he had already guessed the answer. A Miss Maisie Dobbs. She's been highly recommended. Stratton nodded. Indeed, I'm familiar with her work. She's honest and knows her business. In fact, we have consulted with her here at Scotland Yard. The woman leaned forward, intrigued. Really? Not like your boys to admit to needing help, is it? Stratton inclined his head, adding, Miss Dobbs has certain skills, certain methods that seem to bear fruit. Would it be overstepping the mark if I asked what you know of her, her background? I know she was at Girton College a few years after me, and I understand she was a nurse in the war and was herself wounded in Flanders. Stratton looked at the woman, gauging the wisdom of sharing his knowledge of the private investigator. At this point, it was in his interest to have the woman out of his hair, so he would do and say what was necessary to push her onto someone else's patch. She was born in Lambeth, went to work in service when she was thirteen. In service? Don't let that put you off. Her intelligence was discovered by a friend of her employer, a brilliant man, an expert in legal medicine, and himself a psychologist. When she came back from Flanders, as far as I know... She convalesced, then worked for a year in a secure institution, nursing profoundly shell-shocked men. She completed her education, spent some time studying at the Department of Legal Medicine in Edinburgh, and went to work as assistant to her mentor. She learned her business from the best, if I am to be honest. And she's never married. How old is she, thirty-two, thirty-three? Yes, something like that. And no, she's never married though I understand her wartime sweetheart was severely wounded. He tapped the side of his head. Up here. I see. The woman paused, then held out her hand. I wish I could say thank you for all that you've done, Inspector. Perhaps Miss Dobbs will be able to shed light where you have seen nothing. Stratton stood up, shook hands to bid the woman goodbye, and called for a constable to escort her from the building. As soon as the door was closed while reflecting that they had not even wished each other a cordial Happy New Year, he picked up the telephone receiver and placed a call. Yes? Stratton leaned back in his chair. Well, you'll be pleased to hear that I've got rid of that bloody woman. Good. How did you manage that? A fortuitous move on her part. She's going to a private investigator. Anyone I should worry about? Stratton shook his head. Nothing I can't handle. I can keep an eye on her. Her? Yes, her.